Hello, my name is Sandis Apse. I am from Canada, born and raised, uh, but I'm also a Latvian citizen. Uh, I'm here at SSE. I'm a year one student. So here we go. <laughs> Where are you currently living? So I currently live in uh, Riga, right in the center. Uh, I live on my own in my own apartment, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> uh, it is it is kind of nice to have my own space rather than have to share it share a dormitory or something else like that. Uh, why did you choose to apply to SSE Riga? Well, um, so I came here in January uh, for six months originally, um, just to live here with friends or to see friends. The reason why I chose SSE Riga was because I was not going to get home to school. <laughs> in complete honesty. And then uh, I was looking at where's the best, where the best places to uh, study. And I applied it in Canada for specifically for economics. And so I thought, well, you know what, I guess SSE is the next best thing or the best thing. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, it's the best thing because uh, I like it here better. <laughs> How did your parents react when you told them you were considering going to SSE? So the original plan, I was supposed to go home in uh, July of this year and not stay. Um, and I decided pretty quickly when I, while I was here that I was going to stay and that's why I applied. Um, and so then through a Facebook post, my parents found out that I was going to stay in Latvia. I just kind of posted it like, yeah, by the way, I'm moving. And, uh, so they called me and they were utterly shocked. And then they learned about SSC that I was applying to go there and they were, they, they were very supportive of it. Uh, a little bit sad that I was moving away from home, but, uh, they were supportive of me going to SSC. Also, they thought I was a little crazy because they've heard stories about us to see how it's uh, how it is uh, intense. Um, so yeah, how was your ride to SSC Riga physically? Well, uh, I flew from Canada. Um, not exactly the cheapest thing, but it does compensate with the fact that school is cheaper here <laughs> uh, than in Canada. Uh, so I flew from Canada, and then I had to find an apartment, which was not the easiest thing to do. Um, and then basically moved my life over here, which was a challenge, but it was also very exciting. How easy was it to become a resident? So uh, both my parents are Latvian citizens, so I uh, I was able to get a Latvian citizenship when I was a, uh, young. And uh, so move, moving here and becoming a resident was really easy because all I had to do was declare that I was living here now, and that was about it. I didn't have to do anything further. Um, also, because even if I wasn't a citizen in, in Latvia, fly, actually flying here, there's there's no visas that you, have to, that you have to get. It's just you fly, you get in, and that's that. So it's, it's really easy, um, at least from Canada. I don't know about from the States, but from Canada, it's really easy. How did your parents prepare you for the move? Um, not a lot. It was basically, I said that I was going to fly to Latvia for six months, and they were just like, go for it. And, uh, that was about the end of that conversation and, uh, not much else happened between the two, between us. It was just, they were just kind of like, yep, go for it, do your thing and, uh, enjoy it. So there was no really preparation. Uh, have you used any financial aid, any discounts? So, um, I did not get any financial aid for the school. I didn't get any discounts. Uh, other than the fact that I am a, a, a European citizen, citizen, so I was able to pay the Baltic uh, the Baltic price, um, so that was kind of nice. And then benefits from my country. Uh, so no, I don't apply to any of the benefits from my country because I'm going to school outside of the country. But uh, it is nonetheless a lot cheaper. It is about a third that I was planning on paying annually for school in Canada. So in that regards, it is it is a lot better financially. Uh, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> What is your living situation? Uh, how was it? So I live in an apartment on my own, which is not always the easiest thing because, well, I mean, at least at first, because it's a big adjustment period from living at home to living on your own. Uh, for example, wanting to study late at, till late at night, but you have to remember you have to make yourself a proper dinner. There's no one at home to make it for you or to do your laundry. So it, it's all these added steps, but uh, it is also a lot of fun living on your own. It's kind of like, you feel like you, you've grown up and you've become an adult because now you have to deal with it all yourself rather than letting your parents do it all for you. What was your biggest challenges uh, in your first months? Um, I would say since I took a gap year between uh, high school and university, I would say that the biggest challenge in my first challenges in my first months in the first months of school was um, adjusting to the pacing of, of learning. So 
I took a gap year, so I've kind of forgot how to learn, how to study, how to manage my time. And so when I came here from day one, we were thrown into financial accounting uh, with no adjustment period to like kind of ease your way into it. it was just go, go, go from the from the start. So at first that was a bit overwhelming and, and difficult to just understand how you have to manage your time to make sure you do get everything done in time. Um, so that was the biggest challenge. But now that it's been about two months, of, I've, I've gotten into I've gotten into that pace and, and uh, it's good. We're good to go. <laughs> Uh, what extracurricular opportunities did you take? Um, so I applied to only one uh, one committee in the school, which was the marketing committee, which is a lot of fun. I would say that uh, definitely apply if you do come. <laughs> I am a folk dancer outside of school, so I don't really have that much free time to give. Uh, so I was only able to apply to one committee. Uh, and then the SSE Riga community. So I would say the SSE Riga community is awesome because it is a small school. So you do learn everyone's names in your course. So you're you're all as one together, right? So you're, you're always helping each other. There's never this, this disconnect. You're always all together. And um, I mean, I was going to go to school at University of Toronto, which would have been in my first lectures in my first year, I would have had about 2000 other students at a time in my first lectures, which would mean that I would get to know maybe five people and those would be my friends and that's that. But at SSE Riga, you don't really have that choice to like just get your own little group. You're kind of always together with everyone and it's a lot of fun in that regard. Um, the community is this close, close, closely knit uh, community, which is a lot of fun. Uh, what would you have wanted to know before you came? I would have liked to know the the intensity of the learning. So it is it is just it's a, it's fast paced, and so I was not expecting that. I was not aware of that, and so I would have liked to know that before I got here, because then I would have been able to prepare myself a little bit for that, rather than just kind of be shocked by it. So that would have been one nice thing to learn about. Uh, what is your biggest accomplishment since beginning your studies at SSE? It would be. Uh, passing the math midterm because it is the first first exam that you do at the school at year one and uh, you kind of have no idea if you're under if you understand anything if you're actually learning anything until you do that that midterm and understand that you've passed and that you actually do know something and that you have retained some information that has been thrown at you uh, so that's that was my biggest accomplishment was passing that just knowing that okay I am on the right tracks so I am moving in the right direction at the school um, what am I looking forward to at the moment? I'm looking forward to Christmas break just because not that I don't like learning. It's just, I just want a day where I can just relax and not have to worry about an upcoming exam or upcoming deadline or something like that. I just want even a week, just a week where I can just relax and sleep normally and not have to worry about, worry about school. But yeah, so there you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you apply.